is going on guys, it's the Crazy Mook here bringing you another vlog and <laughs> I'm hoping that you've noticed something different um, I've got a new lid um, so this camera angle is completely experimental and I hope it's not completely peaked on um, testing went <laughs> testing went well um, <laughs> there's a video up on my Facebook page and um, I'll leave it at that so feel free to go and watch it and also I'm hoping that you should notice a no, notice a slight difference in audio not only because my cheeks have squashed up so fucking tight I feel like a fat kid that's got his face stuck in an elevator door but also because there's a chin curtain um, which is like a bit of fabric that goes right under the microphone and I've replaced it all I've got a new mount for you guys, making sure you're still attached to me. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we're pretty much up and going. And right now, I am just out on a test ride. haven't really got anywhere to go in particular. But I've got the top box on the bike, I've got the tank bag. The only thing I'm missing is the tent off the back of the bike. I've got to go and buy some new bungee cords for when uh, me, SV, Ride the Naked and a mate of ours all go to Italy in a couple of weeks. So that will be interesting and so yeah, there it is. So yeah, if I sound funny or funnier than I usually do, I've also kind of like, it's because my cheeks are so squashed off I'm talking like an idiot. <laughs> Not that I'm an idiot, but well, yeah, I probably am. Um, So yeah, we got a, does he nod? No, she's probably just thinking, what the hell are you talking about, son? Why is this man nodding at me? Still, you try. It, my face is very sore when I keep talking to you guys. <laughs> like, I don't know if you've ever worn a new helmet, but everything is very not molded to your face. It's just very tight and my helmet's a virgin and I need to stick my head in it to loosen it up. You know what? I have no idea where I am. I have seen that Baron Von Grumble's just got a BMW S1000RR which gotta say has made me ridiculously jealous. That is such a beautiful bike. Uh, I'm still lost. I've just been riding around like a freaking idiot. I feel like the part, oh, now my little orange light's gone off. Should I just fill up anyway? So yeah, one thing I might... How does this work? Oh, you got to take... You freaking idiot. you got to take the tank bag off, haven't you? Yes? Taking tank bag off? Yes. I've never really had a tank bag or anything like that before. And so, I've got it all now. Yeah, the fuel, the fuel range on this bike is pretty pitiful, even by bike standards. It does about 120 miles um, until the little orange light of joy comes on, saying, fill up with fuel. I don't know how many miles or kilometers 120 miles is. But the thing is, it's got quite a small tank for bikes. I think, like, the standard size is, like, I don't know, like, 17 litres or something. This is about 15, maybe, just over. So it's quite small. That's what she said. Uh, so, obviously, you're going to do less miles on it. But it means when you do have to pull over to do your fill-ups, it means you're f putting less in. So, it's all good in the hood. Thank you very much. Take out. Drift. It's a drift. Like a GoPro, but better. <laughs> you too. <laughs> drift, you need to sponsor me. <laughs> Right, now we're on the hunt for this freaking camping shop. All I want is some bungee cords to tie the tent to the back of the bike. So, like... <sighs> How hard can it be? 
very is the answer, as it turns out. You know what, it's been so nice just to be back vlogging, right? I don't know, just having a chin wag, you know, chew the fat. Chew in the fat. Put on. Oh. <laughs> Top box away! And that is why I tested it in this country, because if that happened on the French Autobahn, I would be pissed. Okay, sweet. So now we know that it wasn't on properly, and that that was probably my fault that it wasn't on properly. Okay, first offs, ski. Chernovsky. Let's get out of the road. <sighs> Whoa, cheers, mate. I was good. <laughs> I just left it. <laughs> it's only because I don't know what she's doing, you see. I need to go back for it, man. I need to go back for the top box. I didn't want to nick her car park space and be an arsehole, that's, that's the only reason why. But I'm going to do it anyway. So now the question is, how the hell... We're going to get this back home. Boom, 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 boom. That's why I don't like top boxes. Ooh. Okay. Give me a sec and I will bodge this back on. I'll tell you what, guys. Right now. Okay. We're on. We're recording. Now, what I've done is I've obviously pulled outside this butcher's and he's turned out to be a biker. <laughs> Serious hardcore biker. He's come over and uh, I managed to pick up some bolts from a builder's merchant. Um, a couple of cable ties from a cycle shop, which uh, will get me into limp home mode for me to uh, scooby on back home. And where I can properly sort it out, I have no idea why it failed. No idea at all. The bolts are missing. There's three bo four bolts that hold it on. Three of them have gone missing. Not in the road, not on the top box, not in the plate, not in the bracket. I have no idea where they've gone. So, shit. <laughs> but... Okay, that is, uh, that's how that went, and you know what, I, I, I tried offering him money, I was just like, you know what, massive kudos to this man, you know, I always seem to find him, you know, broke down with cruel old Soft, and, you know, this guy gave me, well, Soft pushed his bike, like, five miles, he didn't have to, with a working bike, and, uh, thank you, mate, and, uh, then this guy gave me a lift to the train station, you know, when he didn't have to, and I've broken down here, well, broken down, this box has failed me, and, uh, oh, you know what, I love these guys, just, you know what, they're just fantastic, so what I'm going to have to do is ride pretty damn carefully, if it happens again, I haven't got any cable ties, so I'll just have to break down in the next town, and see if there's another helpful butcher. Cheers, mate. Helps if you do put it in first, first day. Eh? <laughs> Come on. You know what? What goes around comes around. You know? What? There's 25 miles an hour. That's all I dare. Now we're going into a 40. I need to drop down to a much slower road. Let's just pull on over here give ourselves a little sit rep. I'm just not happy with it being cable tied on at all. Really not happy. Okay, these are the bungees I was using and uh, they're not enough. So, let's shift it all forward into the tank bag. 
There we go. Now we're rolling. Okay, guys. I'm sure to update you if uh, anything does go wrong. But wish me luck. I'm going in. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. And hopefully it has entertained you. <laughs> it's so weird. Like, I saw the top box come off. And I was just like... That looks like my top box. It is my top box. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. You know what? It happens. Oh, this is a massive game of hazard perception, this, isn't it? Alright, guys, well, thank you a lot for watching, and I will catch you in the next vlog. Please be sure to leave your rating and leave a comment, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.